Hello engineers, welcome to the video tutorial to generate service road drawing using e-survey structures. Using this module, you can create a drawing of new service road. To begin working, create a new file in e-survey structure interface. Open e-survey structure interface. In the file menu, click new. In the window that opens, you can begin to enter prerequisite data. Once you have created a new file, navigate to the main menu and click Service Road item. In the window that opens, you can begin to enter prerequisite data. To create drawings of the new service road, you need to update the following basic settings. Road type Box type Reinforcement details General settings Update road type to define road types, in the Inputs group, click the More button next to the Road field. In this window, you will get the service road setup. You need to configure the walls of the service details by clicking on the More button next to the Road field. In the Road Defaults window that opens, you need to configure the road details for different road types like 2-lane, 4-lane, etc. These include description, median widths, shyness, carriageway details, paved shoulder details, earthen shoulder details, and side slope details. Enter the required details and click Save to save different types of road default. The drop-down at the bottom of the road type screen will list all the items. To define box types, click the More button next to the box field in the Inputs group. Here you will get the Service Road Box Setup window. You need to configure the walls of the service details in this window by clicking on the More button next to the Box field. In the Box Details window that opens, you need to configure the basic box details such as thickness of the different slabs, that is, top, bottom, side and haunch details, and need of shirky and flexible floor apron, drain spouts, retaining wall. Enter the required details, select the appropriate options, and click Save to save box details. You can save multiple types of boxes in library. Similarly, you need to create reinforcement details in the Service Road Reinforcement Details window library. Configure layers color and font settings. You need not make all these settings for every file you create. Select the default settings option under the Tools menu. Enter the most commonly preferred settings in your projects. You can change the parameters of the approach slab, parapet wall, corbel bracket, and others like soil slope in the service road underscore settings windows. After making the changes and updating these settings, if you create any new file, these settings will be available in the new file by default. In Layer Settings, you can change layer name, scale, color, hatch pattern, line type, and line weight. Create text style with different text height and font settings and apply for heading, dimension, and other text layers as required. Once you save all the above values as per your requirement in default settings, you can use these values in all similar types of projects. With all this preparation, you can generate and service road drawing in just a few steps. Create a new service road. First, you need to select the desired road type from road drop-down. Next, select the required box type. Then provide input like FRL, SKU if required. Number of cells. Chainage, select reinforcement template, invert level and print template from the respective drop-down. After providing all these inputs, click on Generate button. If you require reinforcement drawing along with detailed drawing, select the reinforcement template checkbox and its respective template name. Along with the drawing, it will generate the required steel volume report. Now service road drawing is ready to export. Click on the Save Drawing icon in the Service Road Drafting window to open the drawing in your CAD editor. 
to generate multiple new service road drawings in one go using bulk generate. Click on the bulk generate button in the service road drafting window. Click the template button to open Excel template to enter service road details. Enter all underpass details as shown in the sample picture below and save the Excel file. Click on the triple dotted button in the import Excel file group, then select the Excel file saved in the previous step. Select a folder to store the exported drawings and reports. Once you click import, software will show imported data in the grid. You can edit parameters in the grid and then click on generate button. Now the program will export all drawings and reports in the specified folder as shown below. If you are working in the infrastructure industry, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We regularly add informative videos about infrastructure design and engineering solutions. Road InfraSwit and Water InfraSwit are very popular software solutions for infrastructure engineering. You can also book a free demonstration of the software by visiting www.esurveying.net. You may reach us through email at info at esurveying.net. You can call us on plus 919-449-599709. Or book online demonstration through our website www.esurveying.net.